We're back in my kitchen. Okay, I'm going to try and do this in one shot so I can upload it. So I'm still, um, you know, doing the files and stuff on my laptop, my crash laptop. So I'm making seafood uh, tuna fish patties with quinoa and a mixture of um, here it is a mixture of um, oh it would help if I could remember what on earth it is <laughs> a mixture of sweet potato carrots that grated and cooked to call the soft and some peas and one egg unfortunately we made the mistake of picking up um, tuna in oil and I don't like tuna in oil if I'm going to eat it in just a plain salad so we are going to mix all of these together and the they quinoa they, 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 the vegetables uh, have, are mixed with my um, masala a curry powder it's not that strong it's not such a, a hot one it just gives it a little bit of spice it makes it nice a little bit of spice makes everything nice. Yeah, yes. Okay. So we're just going to dump it all in here. And I'll try and remember to measure. Because I really don't actually measure everything. So that was a little bit over a, 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 a half a cup. Of the vegetables. Okay, don't be fussy, Joan. I'm trying not to be too fussy with stuff, too. Okay, and this is... Um, one can. I might need to open up another can more to see how it mixes. This is one can of the tuna fish. And I'm going to mix this. And then to this, I'm mean actually, right now, for now, I should add one cup. And I might as well use this one. Oh! going to add one cup of quinoa, one cup of quinoa right now. So that's half a cup. And that's one cup. And this quinoa is cooked, it's pre-cooked quinoa. Because it is June, that's why it's in a saucepan. Okay. And then uh, trying to give you a better view of me cooking and I know I need to buy a a tripod and put you all up on a tripod so you can actually look down and see what I'm doing when I'm doing it I think that looks good make sure it's well mixed there we go, that looks good, doesn't it? it? Smells good too. Okay, I've had the pan warming up. And again, I, no salt. I don't use any salt whatsoever, but obviously there's going to be a little bit of salt in the tuna fish. And we're going to make patties. There we are, it's not spinning. We're just going to make some patties with our hands. We're going to play patty cake. And I just pat them together. Hopefully they won't fall apart. So she hopefully as they fall apart. I might have to include some starch in this. I hope not. You can actually, you can either cook these on the... On the on the you know in the in the pan or you can cook them in the oven come on don't fall apart on me please okay we'll see how this goes we might ah uh, it's falling apart we might end up doing um like a stir fry <laughs> with this Depending on how it goes. Okay. Maybe I just need to press it a little bit harder. Yeah, but 
I was just being too soft and delicate. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the trick is, is press them a bit harder to get press them together a bit harder. I would recommend, this is on medium heat, and I think I'm going to turn it down in a minute. So I would certainly recommend not overcooking the outside, because you want it to heat all the way through. So don't make your patties too thick either. Now, if you're going to cook them in the oven, obviously, you can cook them a bit longer than you do. That patty's a bit too thick there. Let me thin that out a bit. There you go. If you cook them in the oven on a tray, you can actually cook them a little bit longer than you can. Oh, come on now. Quit it. Press together. There we go. It's just refusing to go together. <laughs> oh, stop. Okay, there we go. And again, it depends on the size of patties you make. Depends on the size of how many how many you get. And I might have to pause this and come back because I am trying to do it in one shot. And of course, you can't see now, can you? Hey. I got the camera in the wrong place. It's in my phone thingy, but it's the opposite way around to what I normally have it. It's on the, you know, the camera, the phone is flipped there, but well, you know. Flipped on the opposite vertical. I mean, horizontal. No? Yeah. I think they're overcooking on the other side. Oh, I do wish I had gas. I do much prefer gas. Okay. And once I've sorted out my laptop files and everything, we're nearly there. We're, we're very close to it. I know I keep saying that, but we are very close to having it so that I can start edit videos again. And when I do, I shall get back to my normal type of editing that I do. But until then, please bear with me while I do the best that I can right now. people would have just tossed that to one side but look you can get nearly a full patty out of all that that I just scraped up in there. That's it. That's it. to me is a waste. I watch people watch watch videos of people cooking and they you know don't bother scraping things out and I'm like scrape it out you've got more in there. Okay but this is a half a patty here. This is a half size patty, which I'll put it in the middle. Put it down there. Let me wash my hands. I 
I think, you know what, I forgot to put oil in the bottom of the pan. I forgot to grease the pan a little bit. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Which one shall I use? is going to be, alright, you got to see whether we're going to make it or not. There we go. Nope, it didn't overcook, but it fell apart when I flipped it. Okay. So I'm just going to leave those to slowly cook. Do better with a patty press. If anybody's ever had one of those. Because you can press it but you can press it together a bit tighter. The reason why I'm not really using oil in the pan is because the tuna fish has already got oil in it. Probably could do with um, slightly thinner patties. Yeah. And maybe two eggs rather than one egg to hold it to, you know, to give it better holding power. Oh, is it falling apart? Oh no. And it's falling apart because my patties aren't flat. See, that's the thing with a patty maker that actually makes your patty flat. Instead of dome shaped like it was in my hand. Your hand is good for making meatballs, not flat patties. But it's browning up nicely. They're, they're, they're doing nicely. They really are. these others cook a bit longer. I'll try and flatten them. Squish them to bit together a bit more. They're actually quite thick patties that they've made. And I would actually recommend, you know, turning them regularly, but try and be as careful as you can so they don't fall apart. I think maybe two eggs more than, rather than one to help them fall together, maybe not as thick. This is actually the first time I'm making these. <laughs> as if you couldn't tell. Where did I get the recipe from? Out of my head. I did look up some quinoa and um, tuna fish patties and it had all sorts in it and it's like, well uh, that's a bit complicated, I just wanted something simple for dinner, something that's easy for us all to throw together and of course this one is just not behaving, it's falling apart, something chronic, yeah, definitely I would say use more than one egg to give it holding power. Let me see if I can turn this over without it falling apart. Yes, folks, this is real. Nope, it fell apart. Okay, squish it together, Jim. It's probably because it's not quite cooked enough on that one side. You really need to have have it browned. Yep. I'm going to squish it back together. Oh! Well, that's one failed patty, but never mind. I'll let the others to cook a bit longer. Yeah, it's not cooked long enough on the other side. 
really need both, you really need to have it brown well before you flip, try and flip it. Okay, we're squishing it back together. <laughs> oh dear me, this is a fail if ever I saw one. It's all falling apart. <laughs> well, that one fell apart too. Okay. Now we could. Mmm, it tastes good. We could actually start from scratch. We could actually put them back in the bowl, add another egg to it, mix them up, and add another egg to it if we so wanted. That really wouldn't hurt. Okay, that one's not cooked quite enough. But the ones that um, browned off quite well on the other side, before I turn them, are actually faring better. They're holding together better. I know a lot of recipes um, call for breadcrumbs, but I don't, don't fancy breadcrumbs, thank you very much. Yeah. Definitely needs to be cooked a bit more before you turn them round off well. Otherwise they fall apart like this middle one did. That's okay. Just leave that there and let it cook. It's knowing there are, I wish I had gas. I can cook so much better on gas. Okay, let me show you how we're doing here. See that one there was cooked round off better and it turned nicely. And that one's doing on the other side and these two are also doing. But the middle one just completely fell apart. But that was only that tiny one. So I think maybe I think maybe one more two eggs instead of one to give it better holding power. Oh. Ah nope, it's all falling apart. Oh. Well there goes my patties. That's because I'm trying to rush for the video. This is stupid. Oh my goodness. So I think what I shall do is just break the rest of these up. And we will just have tossed quinoa and tuna fish over salad or something but anyway there's proof that it can be done I've got two <coughs> two patties that are working so far <coughs> okay so I'm going to move this back <coughs> sorry I just swallowed the wrong way Turn 
you just want me to see it can be done okay i've got three patties there you are. okay so cook that a little bit longer so let me show you i have three patties that have cooked nicely two that fell apart and one that's still doing so maybe add two eggs instead of maybe add two eggs instead of one that will hold it together a bit better all right so our favorite taste tester is here our favorite taste tester is here. he says uh oh <laughs> He said, uh-oh. <laughs> Our face favorite taste tester is here in the kitchen. So while he's in the kitchen, I shall have him taste one of these patties. And see what he thinks. Huh? Okay. himself a green smoothie drink I just told him I was gonna, I was making I've got some veggies that I put to one side that I've dehydrated that I want to try and make a green smoothie from but I don't think he's too impressed right now all right honey mm -hmm. it's tight he's, he's looking at it rather suspiciously <laughs> I've never made these before by the way I think I already said that didn't I Tuna fish quinoa patty. Or quinoa patty. Tuna fish and quinoa patty. <laughs> I think I shocked him with this. You can't see him. <laughs> what? It's good. Good. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <clears throat> it's not too fishy, so that's good. It's not too fishy. Mm -hmm. So that's good. All right. <laughs> and, and the taste of the quinoa. No, that's strong, so okay. Do a good job. So the man says it's not that bad. Let me have a taste. Actually, it's not. It's good. It's got a good flavour to it. It's got a good texture to it. Um, the outside could be cooked a little bit longer, make it a bit more crispy. And I think maybe. It would be done better if you cook it 
cook it in the oven. Well, this one is not or in the toaster oven. I don't know. What? Have you tasted it? <laughs> it has a grassy kind of... He's just tasted his um, super greens powder and he says it's got a grassy taste. Well, yeah. No, I mean strong. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you want to taste it? No, I do. I taste yours. <laughs> I don't know if you hear that. He's making me taste it because he tasted mine so I have to taste his. Yeah, it definitely smells like grass. I see you making faces. And they definitely taste like grass. Mm. Yeah. So. Oh. Anywho, let me turn these over. Yep, they definitely need to brown a bit longer before you actually turn them over. That I will say. This one's a big patty, so. Yes! Yep, so I think that was my problem. I didn't let them cook long enough on one side before I actually tried to turn it. That so I would definitely use it. Oh god. So I don't know how to describe them, so they describe them as a white Hispanic. Oh my god. So I don't understand. I just don't understand. Okay, well that's uh, well uh, if it's still cooking, I'll get out. Hey, stop! And this is a salad mix that I made earlier. Um, because there was so much of it, it wouldn't fit in my um, salad saver that I made uh, from a a takeout container. So I put it in one of these bags that you get stuff in from the supermarket that has holes in it. And I'm just going to let me move that to the side. I'm just going to put these on. Um, you can use lemon for dressing if you want. You can use anything for dressing actually if you want dressing. Tartar sauce. Um, that has always been a good one for fish. <clears throat> Just like this. And then you can put it on top like that. <clears throat> Let me get another one. Let me get one that's cooked. I know you can put it, if you've got lemon, you can put a slice of lemon, a twist of lemon on top. Oh my door. And there we go. That's it. And that's it. So, while I go on a dog, um, she's, she, she, she can actually smell these, so she's asking for some, so she'll give her some. 
Um, but because she can actually eat these, they're not harmful for her. They're actually good for her. And as I said, the masala isn't that strong, and it's it's actually spices that are good for the digestion. So remember, one step at a time, one breath at a time. We, I can do this. We'll get there. Bye.